guys, it's Mackenzie, and welcome back to my channel, Cooking for Health. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Today, I will be showing you an eggnog recipe that is both dairy-free and refined sugar-free. For this recipe, you will need 6 eggs. I would recommend using pasteurized eggs since we will be consuming these raw. If you don't know where you can buy any, you can make your own at home, but I won't go into detail with that in this video. You will also need to separate your whites and your yolks. You will also need 3 cups of almond milk, and with this you want to make sure that the only ingredients are almonds and water. And again, if you can't find any, you can easily make your own at home. You'll need two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, three quarter teaspoons of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of allspice, and finally, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're going to start by pouring our egg whites into a mixer, and you're just going to beat those for a bit until they form stiff peaks. Once that is done, we're going to transfer them into another bowl. Then you're going to add your egg yolks and maple syrup into your mixing bowl, and you're just going to beat them until they become thick and creamy. And if you have a little bit of egg whites left in the bowl, that's completely fine. You don't need to wash them out. Then you're going to slowly pour in the almond milk while the mixer is still going. Then add in your vanilla extract, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. And then we're going to mix in our egg whites. And do not do what I did by going and putting them in while still going. Stop your mixer, lift it up, and then put them in. So this is why you should go and lift up your mixer and then put it in. Once everything is fully combined, you could drink it just like that, or you can go and leave it in the fridge in an airtight container overnight to let it cool down. And when you're ready to use it, just give your container a shake to make sure everything's well mixed though, and then you can top it with a little bit of nutmeg or a cinnamon stick. Very good, Mackenzie. Very eggnoggy. Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video. See you next time. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.